he was deeply troubled and declared openly, I am telling you the truth. One of you is going to betray me. The disciples looked at one another, completely puzzled about whom he meant. One of the disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was sitting next to Jesus. Simon Peter motioned to him. Ask him whom he is talking about. So that disciple moved closer to Jesus' side. Who is it, Lord? I will dip some bread in the sauce and give it to him. He is the man. So he took a piece of bread, dipped it, and gave it to Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot. As soon as Judas took the bread, Satan entered into him. Hurry, and do what you must. None of the others at the table understood why Jesus said this to him. Since Judas was in charge of the money bag, some of the disciples thought that Jesus had told him to go and buy what they needed for the festival, or to give something to the poor. Judas accepted the bread and went out at once. It was night. After Judas had left, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man's glory is revealed. Now God's glory is revealed through him. And if God's glory is revealed through him, then God will reveal the glory of the Son of Man in himself. And he will do so at once. My children, I shall not be with you very much longer. You will look for me, but I tell you now what I told the Jewish authorities. You cannot go where I am going. And now I give you a new commandment. Love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. If you have love for one another, then everyone will know that you are my disciples. Where are you going, Lord? You cannot follow me now where I am going. But later you will follow me. Lord, why can't I follow you now? I am ready to die for you. Are you really ready to die for me? I'm telling you the truth. Before the rooster crows, you will say three times that you do not know me. Do not be worried and upset. Believe in God. And believe also in me. There are many rooms in my father's house. And I'm going to prepare a place for you. I would not tell you this if it were not so. And after I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to myself so that you will be where I am. You know the way that leads to the place where I am going. Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way to get there? I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except by me. Now that you have known me, you will know my father also. And from now on, you do know him. And you have seen him. Lord, show us the father. That is all we need. 
For a long time I have been with you all. Yet you do not know me, Philip. Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. Why then do you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe, Philip, that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words I have spoken to you do not come from me. The Father who remains in me does his own work. Believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. If not, believe because of the things I do. I am telling you the truth. Those who believe in me will do what I do. Yes, they will do even greater things. Because I am going to the Father. And I will do whatever you ask for in my name. So that the Father's glory will be shown through the Son. If you ask me for anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, you will obey my commandments. I will ask the Father and he will give you another helper who will stay with you forever. He is the spirit who reveals the truth about God. The world cannot receive him because it cannot see him or know him. But you know him because he remains with you and is in you. When I go, you will not be left all alone. I will come back to you. In a little while, the world will see me no more. But you will see me. And because I live, you also will live. When that day comes, you will know that I am in my Father and that you are in me, just as I am in you. Those who accept my commandments and obey them are the ones who love me. My Father will love those who love me. I too will love them and reveal myself to them. Judas, not Judas Iscariot, said, Lord, how can it be that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Those who love me will obey my teaching. My father will love them, and my father and I will come to them and live with them. Those who do not love me do not obey my teaching. And the teaching you have heard is not mine, but comes from the father who sent me. I have told you this while I'm still with you. The help of the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and make you remember all that I have told you. Peace is what I leave with you. It is my own peace that I give you. I do not give it as the world does. Do not be worried and upset. Do not be afraid. You heard me say to you, I'm leaving, but I will come back to you. If you loved me, you would be glad that I'm going to the Father, for he is greater than I. I have told you this now, before it all happens, so that when it does happen, you will believe. I cannot talk with you much longer, because the ruler of this world is coming. He has no power over me, but the world must know. But I love the Father, and that is why I do everything as he commands me. Come, let us go from this place. I am the real vine, and my father is the gardener. He breaks off every branch in me that does not bear fruit. And he prunes every branch that does bear fruit, so that it will be clean and bear more fruit. You have been made clean already by the teaching I have given you. Remain united to me. And I will remain united to you. A branch cannot bear fruit by itself. It can do so only if it remains in the vine. In the same way, you cannot bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine. And you are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will bear much fruit. For you can do nothing without me. Those who do not remain in me are thrown out like a branch and dry up. Such branches are gathered up and thrown into the fire, where they are burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, then you will ask for anything you wish, and you shall have it. My Father's glory is shown by your bearing much fruit. And in this way, you become my disciple. 